Today we're looking at this beast of a cooler from Noctua. It's got a dual tower design with two large fans and on top of that it's got eight heat pipes. If you're looking for the king of air coolers, this may just be it. Today we're taking a deep dive into the Noctua NH D15 G2, which is an absolute beast when it comes to cooling performance. Noctua sticks with the signature brown box design, and right up front we get an image of the cooler itself along with some key specs. The sides and the back of the box go into more detail including features, compatibility and even a handy QR code if you want more info. When you open the box up you'll notice everything is well packaged and protected. Inside you get the cooler itself with two 140mm fans pre-installed. You also get two low noise PWM adapters to fine tune fan speeds, a PWM splitter cable so both fans can run off a single header, Noctua's NTH2 thermal paste and an AM5 thermal paste guard. You also get a screwdriver, cleaning wipes and a good amount of mounting hardware for both AM5 and Intel sockets. Plus, on top of all that, you also get a metal Noctua case badge, because branding matters. So the first thing you notice with this cooler is that this thing is massive. If you're used to having a stock cooler or smaller air coolers, this cooler might surprise you with its sheer size and weight. The top of the cooler, you can see the exposed ends of the heat pipes running through the twin towers. From the side you'll notice the dense fin stack, designed for maximum heat dissipation. There's also space to add a third fan on the back of the cooler if you really want to push performance, and this will clip onto the sides. But clips aren't included. On the front you have the large 140mm NS A14 by 25R G2 PWM fan designed for high static pressure and quiet operation. You also get an additional fan between the two tower stacks as well. On the bottom we see a large polished base plate with 8 heat pipes for excellent thermal transfer. One nice touch with this cooler is the fan mounting system. Since the fans are secured with clips, you can adjust their height to clear taller RAM modules if needed. Installing the cooler is straightforward thanks to Noctua's Secure Firm 2 Plus multi socket mounting system. It supports AMD's AM5, AM4, and Intel's LGA 1851, 1700, 1200, and an 1150X sockets, making it a versatile option for most modern builds. That said, case compatibility is something to consider, with a height of 158mm, width of 150mm and a depth of 152mm, this cooler won't fit in all mid-tower cases. Make sure you check your case's clearances before buying. So down to testing. Testing is done in a climate controlled room at 21.5 degrees Celsius. All components are exactly the same, so it's the same test system for each test. The only difference is the cooler itself. So down to the first test, we're checking the average temperature over 30 minutes with the fan speed running at 50%. And this is on an Intel i9-14900K. And as you can see here, the Noctua fans, or cooler should I say, comes in at 57 degrees Celsius. Where running it in low noise mode comes in at 58 degrees, which makes it joint first place with the Be Quiet Dart Rock Pro 5. In this next test, we do the same thing again, but this time we're checking the maximum temperature the CPU gets up to. And as you can see here, again, the Noctua comes in in joint first place at 87 degrees Celsius. 
Now in this test we set the fan speed at 100% and we're checking the average temperature again. And as you can see here, the Noctua cooler comes in at 50 degrees C, which is 3 degrees cooler than its nearest competition. And its nearest competition is actually joint second place, and that is the same cooler running in low noise mode. In this test, same again, 100% fan speed, but we're checking the maximum temperature. And as you can see here, it performs very well. It's slightly behind the Arctic Freezer 36, but it got the same temperature when it was working in the low noise mode as well, when you're hitting the max temp. In this test, we're checking the decibel level. So basically how loud the cooler is here, and it performs sort of midfield is probably the best way of putting it. It's not too loud, but it's not the quietest either. Now, in this last test, we're checking decibel levels again, but with a fan speed at 100% instead of 50%. And as you can see here, Noctua comes in at sort of the back of the pack, so it's not the quietest on the market. But when you do have it in low noise mode with the adapters, it comes in as the quietest that we've tested. So, is the Noctua MHD15 G2 the ultimate air cooler? In our opinion, yes. It's got outstanding cooling performance, quiet operation, excellent build quality, and long-term reliability. However, it's not perfect because A, it's big, and not everyone likes a brown and beige color scheme in their computer. But if you want the best air cooler money can buy and you don't mind the Noctua's aesthetic, this is an easy recommendation. The Techmax Expo 25 is the UK's top tech trade show, bringing together hundreds of IT professionals. It's a great opportunity to strengthen relationships with vendors and distributors while networking with industry leaders. You can explore the latest tech and services for growing your IT business. There is also thousands of pounds of prizes up for grabs. And not only that, it's free to attend the day event. The event takes place on the 27th of June 2025 at Magna Adventure and Science Centre near Meadow Hall in Sheffield. Features include a live tech awards ceremony, evening retro entertainment, meeting areas and interactive demos. Can you afford not to be one of the 800 IT professionals who are expected to attend? Registration is now open at tftmax.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and know I did. Why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here or this one just down here. Otherwise, you can give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think, and we'll see you next time.